Hi, I'm Osto, and yes, it has been another month, more than a month actually. So, um, I'm actually quite sorry for not posting that frequently, but today I'm back with another food series video. And today we will be making waffles. The reason why I'm making waffles is because recently I went to a nice restaurant that serves waffles with ice cream, and I really like that. And that's the reason I'm doing this video. But hopefully I'm gonna demonstrate something interesting, um, interesting techniques related to materials and modeling, maybe. But um, I'm gonna experiment a lot throughout this video. So yeah, I'm gonna make a cube, maybe a plane. Let's start with a plane. Okay, now we have a plane with four vertices. Now I wanna um, subdivide this, so control E and then subdivide. And four squares, probably not enough, so maybe subdivide three times. So we have 16 squares. So we can make those little squares inside the waffles. Today we'll be making that kind of waffles that's kind of squared, square shaped, because um, it's easier, just it's basically easier. So I'm gonna select all those outer edges around our square and E, S to extrude outwards like this. Now we have a shape like this. So I'm going to bring down this, bring down these newly extruded edge down a little bit. So G, Z to extrude, uh, to, to move along the Z axis like this. Maybe a little bit just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is to just select um, the squares in a like a checkered pattern like this. So we can extrude multiple at once without, you know, if we select those squares that are connected together and we try to inset them, they're going to be inserted together. So I'm going to select like this in a checkered, checkered way, and then I'm going to hit I. So I'm going to take a look at the number at the top. So take a look at the number at the top for the thickness, I'm going to just do around 0 0.04 so i'm gonna type in 0 0.04 on my numpad and i'm gonna remember that number and i'm gonna select the other squares like this and then i 0 0.04 now we have these little squares i'm gonna select those little squares like this and hit E, Z, and extrude them down just like this. And now we have some little squares that's going inside. I think I forgot to hit Z, E, Z, Z. Sometimes it doesn't work, so we have to press Z one more time, just like this. Make sure it's vertical, like this. And now maybe I'm going to scale down the outer edge for a little bit, so I'm gonna Alt click the entire edge and just scale down a little bit so it doesn't feel too big. That's pretty good. So now I'm going to extrude E, Z just downwards a little bit, just like that. What I'm gonna do is to select this edge, this bottom edge, and I'm gonna hit Shift S and then cursor to select it. Cursor to select it. So now the cursor is at the, at the center of this outer bottom edge. What I want to do right now is to go to object, set origin to 3D cursor. So now the origin of this model is at the bottom center. So what we can do now is to use the mirror modifier along the Z axis. So now we have the bottom as well. That's pretty good. Maybe I want to fix the shape for a little bit. So the best thing to do this is to actually have references. So um, I'm just going to type um, waffle anime on Google or something. So now um, I'm just going to follow the references and try to make the shape look like waffles that we have every day. So maybe... Maybe I'm going to scale down the outer edge for a little bit more. 
just like this. So I'm going to select these faces. I'm going to face select mode, alt, and select all these outer faces. And I'm going to scale them down, just like this. And now after I scale them down, I think I have to enable clipping in the mirror modifier. So make sure to enable clipping in the mirror modifier because you can see there are some spaces between the faces. So I'm going to bring this edge down, this entire edge down. So now they're clipped together, the mirror version and the actual model. So now we have a nice little shape like this. All right, so now the waffle looks a little bit too sharp, it looks a little bit too solid and doesn't look like food at all. So what I'm going to do is to add a subdivision surface modifier. After I add this, you can see, oh my god, it looks like, it looks worse, it looks rounded and it could be, you know, it could be an interesting shape for a waffle, but you know, maybe we are going to stick to the square one. So what I'm going to do, you know, some people might use like bevel modifiers, things like that. I'm just going to do something very simple, which is adding some edge loops along our waffles squares. So what I'm going to do is to turn off the subsurf for now, and then I'm going to add an edge loop. Maybe I'm going to turn it on so we can see it properly. So I'm going to come here along this edge, these squares, and put my mouse right here and hit control R. And now we have an edge loop that we can move. So now I'm going to click and confirm and just bring this closer to the edge like this. And same for this side. So control R and bring it over here. And I'm going to do the same for the rest of the square. So now I'm going to do this really quick. Reminds me of Minecraft stuff, you know, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft recently actually, so I'm just gonna do this and now it looks a little bit better. Let me shade it smooth, okay? So now it's it's like this, which does look a little bit more like what we want. And I'm gonna try to add the edge loop on the other direction as well but actually i think this looks pretty nice but let's try let's see how it looks so control r we made the loops along this direction so we want to now make the loops along along this direction so now control r and see how it looks it's lagging it's really lagging for some reason Make sure this render um, subdivision is set to 1, by the way, because maybe 2 is too much. And we can see right now it's just just right. So let me try and add the loops along the other direction as well. Okay. Now it looks pretty nice as a waffle. Maybe um, let's move on to making the ice cream. But before that, before we do that, let me rename our waffle first. I'm going to call this waffle. Maybe 0 0.001 because we are going to make more than one probably. So if we go ahead and duplicate this, shift D and move it along the Z axis, we can see it's now called waffle 002, which is really handy. We don't have to rename it again so I'm just gonna put it like this so now we have two waffles so before we move on to uh, making the ice cream probably I'm gonna make a plate first so I'm gonna go ahead and shift a and add a circle now we have a little circle in the middle like this and I think 32 uh, vertices is pretty nice so I'm just gonna scale this up right now so it's a little bit bigger, just so it can carry our waffles like that. So now I'm gonna, going to go into edit mode and just start making a plate. I guess making a plate isn't that hard for a lot of you. So I'm just going to keep extruding stuff. So E, S, 
maybe that much, okay? And then I'm gonna hit G and bring this down, like this. Just a little bit. And then E, S, so it's along there, around there, and then G and Z. And then bring it down a little bit more. And now I'm gonna do E, S, bring it really in like that. Really bring this in. And then E and Z to bring it down. E and S to do a little bit of inset. And then E, Z again. Bring this back up. And then E, S lastly. And after this, I'm just gonna confirm or extrude. I'm gonna hide this, these waffles for now. And then what we are gonna do is to just E and Z again. E, S, I mean. So now I'm gonna confirm and hit M and at center. So I'm gonna merge all these vertices into the center. All right, I'm just gonna fix the shape for a little bit and just, you know, it's really basic modeling at this point. We haven't really go into some really messy materials and stuff. So I'm just going to add an edge loop right here. The reason why I'm doing this is because if we add, if we add a subsurf modifier, those edges without um, some supporting edges is going to be smoothed out like this. So what we called uh, supporting edges is just take a look at this area in case you don't know. So just take a look at this area. It looks really smooth, right? So if what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do now is to add an edge loop around here. So control R, if I push, if I push this up, you can see it looks a lot more sharper. And this is how like the supporting um, holding edges work like this. And that's pretty good, but it's the bottom, so it doesn't matter too much. But just to let you know, it's a really nice thing to have. Sometimes people use modifiers for this um, because, you know, it's less destructive. But I'm just going to do this for the plate. So I'm going to do the inner faces for the plate as well. So I'm just going to keep extruding. So while I'm doing this, I just want to say I hope you guys are doing fine. This year isn't that good for a lot of us. Um, this year isn't exactly a good year for, I guess, a lot of people around the world. So I hope you guys are doing fine. And now our plate is doing, doing fine as well. We have our plate. So now Alt-H just to unhide my waffles and just put them into the right position just so they don't intersect with our plate. Yes, now we have this. Oh, so right now I'm going to add an icosphere to make our ice cream. So icosphere, maybe give it a little bit more subdivisions, like maybe four for now. So I'm going to confirm it and shade it smooth, just like everything else. And I'm going to bring this up like this. So now um, I'm going to scale this ball, this ice cream down. And I'm going to rename this actually. So I'm going to call this ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> and then also the plate, I'm going to call this plate, little. Okay, so I'm going to go into edit mode for the icosphere and make sure to turn on proportional editing right here. You can see this little thing. So enable it. Okay, so now I'm going to select one of the bottom vertices of the ice cream. So right here and just, just maybe bring it up a little bit with a pretty large fall off for the proportional editing, just like this, just to make the bottom a little bit more flat. So now I'm going to bring this ice cream down, maybe a little bit smaller, just like that. Just make sure it barely touches everything. All right, so um, I think the waffles are a little bit too thin. So what I'm going to do is to shift select both of them and just hit SZ and just 
scale them up along the z-axis for a little bit more. So now they look a little bit more bigger. That's pretty nice. So I'm going to move them a little bit so they don't um, intersect with each other too much. Just like this. Maybe a little bit of intersection between the ice cream and the waffles is okay. So just a little bit. So now we have this. So maybe the next thing we can do is to start messing with the shaders. So before we get into the shaders, let's take a look at the lighting in the rendered view right here. So now we have a point light in our scene, which could be useful. Um, usually I use a sunlight for my scene, but maybe a point light is fine in this case. So I'm just going to put my point light a little bit closer to my waffles, my dessert right here. So this is pretty nice, I guess. So what I'm going to do next is to start adding some shaders onto our objects. Jikai, Astonisto Animation. So a little announcement here, let me get my coffee. So later today, I'll be having a little, let's say, a medical procedure. And if things go wrong, this could be my very last video. But I hope I can come back and start making more videos for you guys again. I really want to thank all of you who have been supporting this channel, despite the fact that I don't really post that frequently. So thank you all of you and I hope this video helps for a little bit and I'm going to post the part 2 and part 3 when I come back. So so I hope all of you guys stay healthy and happy and keep creating things, experimenting things in 3D or anything. Just have fun and make sure you don't regret anything. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next video.